Hey guys, what's up? Ricky Brown from Brown Plastic Surgery. Today isn't gonna be a question of the day, but today is just gonna be a short video um, talking about medical school and what you need to do to get into medical school. So, I've been a little bit active on TikTok lately and I know there's a much younger field of people there. And I put a post up that got a lot of attention and I received over 100 DMs in my Instagram inbox about people who are either in high school or they're currently in college and they're on the pre-med track or they wanna be doctors. And a very common question that I got in there was, "What? I don't even know where to start. How do I do this? Or I'm in the middle of pre-med. So I wanna go through a little bit of what you need. The first thing you should do is you can go to the AAMC, the Association of the American Medical uh, College, and they will say on there, on their website, it'll tell you some of the requirements. So I'm gonna give you some of the loose requirements. First off, you need to have a four-year medical degree from an accredited university. That's the first thing. And then moving forward from that, the requirements are different for each medical school, but I can tell you that the general requirements are almost the same for everyone. When I was going through this many years ago, you basically had to have a year of chemistry, a year of physics, a year of biology, and the chemistry included general chemistry, organic chemistry, and some other stuff, um, microbiology, and a bunch of other science classes. So you can count on having to have all of those courses. And whatever college or university you end up at, they're gonna have a pre-med advisor for the most part. They don't all have one, but most of them do. And if they don't, you can just jump on this website and you can get a checklist. Each medical school has its own individual requirements, but again, most of them all overlap. The other thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take the MCAT exam. The MCAT has changed since I took it. It used to be on a different scoring system. So those are the basic things you have to do. You need to get a degree, you need to go to a four-year accredited college, and you need to take the MCAT. Now, a lot of people are also asking me, what should I major in? Do I need to major in biochemistry or microbiology or some other science? I'll tell you that I don't think that you do. I think that what they're looking for in medical school are well-rounded individuals who are doing well in their coursework. Everyone has to take all of the pretty much the same pre-med classes like I mentioned, so you need to do well in those. The other thing is that I think they like to see well-rounded people, so if there happens to be some other non-science related major that you wanna get, then you should do that. There's nothing wrong with that. You're going to college to learn, and you should be diversified in your knowledge. So you do not absolutely have to major in a science. Now, the other thing that I was talking to about a lot of, um, to a lot of you young guys about was being diverse. You need to be different. You need to do something to make yourself differentiated from everyone else. There are a lot of people that go to EMT school. Some people are nurses before they go to med school. You need to do something other than just being a number from an MCAT and a number from your grades. So you need to work on that. Talk to other people in your community that might be pre-med and what they're doing to differentiate themselves. But those are the very loose requirements that you need to know that you need to go through to apply to school. So I'm gonna put a link to the website up here. Go take a look at AAMC's website. There's a lot more detail there than I can give you in a video. But the one thing I wanna tell you guys is you gotta just go for it. If this is what you want and what you truly believe in, medicine is still a great field. Um, and I think that you should go for your dreams and don't let anyone tell you that you can't achieve your goals. I'm gonna continue doing some of those TikToks. I appreciate all of you guys who follow me there. Please share my content there. It's been really fun being a mentor to you guys and I wanna continue to do that for you. So I hope this helps you guys. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.